Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Work on the creation of combat lasers has been going on since the early 60s. Most of all, the military was interested in the use of lasers as a means of anti-missile and anti-air defense. The beam of laser weapons moves at a speed of 185,000 miles per second and can accurately and quickly hit enemy targets. Today, we will show you the 10 most powerful military lasers in the world. 1K17 Jati The 1K17 Jati is a self-propelled laser vehicle. The platform uses a Mista S chassis with a battery of laser projectors mounted in the turret. It was developed by the Soviet Union. The tank used an intense laser beam to disable the optical electronic equipment of the enemy vehicles. This was created by focusing light through 30 kilograms of artificial rubies, which made the whole system very expensive to produce. The energy to power the laser was provided by a generator and an auxiliary battery system. It was also equipped with a 12.7mm NSV machine gun to defend itself against attacks by infantry and air. Boeing YAL-1 The U.S. Air Force Airborne Laser ABL, designated YAL-1 is a high-energy laser system for the destruction of tactical theater ballistic missiles, which is carried on a modified Boeing 747-400F freighter aircraft. The airborne laser is designed to detect and destroy theater ballistic missiles in the power-to-boost phase of a flight immediately after missile launch while the aircraft loiters at an altitude of 40,000 feet. A suite of infrared wide-field telescopes installed along the length of the aircraft's fuselage detects the missile plume at ranges up to several hundred miles. The turret at the nose of the aircraft swivels toward the target and a 1.5 telescope mirror system inside the nose focuses the laser beam onto the missile. The laser beam locks onto the missile, which is destroyed near its launch area within seconds of lock-on. HEL-MD Boeing's High Energy Laser Mobile Demonstrator Hell -MD, team has used a solid-state laser to destroy mortars and unmanned aerial vehicles. A laser destroys targets with pinpoint precision within seconds of acquisition, then acquires the next target and keeps firing. The hell -MD used a 10-kilowatt high-energy laser installed on an Oshkosh tactical military vehicle. The demonstrator is the first mobile high-energy laser counter-rocket artillery and mortar platform and was built and demonstrated by the U.S. Army. Boeing is demonstrating that directed energy technologies can augment existing kinetic strike weapons and offer a significant reduction in cost per engagement. With only the cost of diesel fuel, the laser system can fire repeatedly without expending valuable munitions or additional manpower. Nautilus The Tactical High Energy Laser, or THEL, was a laser developed for military use and also known as the Nautilus Laser System. The THEL is a high-energy laser weapon system that uses proven laser beam generation technologies, proven beam pointing technologies, and existing sensor and communication networks to provide a new active defense capability in counter-air missions. THEL tests during 2000 and 2001 which focused on the threat of rockets, proved highly successful, intercepting and destroying 25 Katyusha rockets. In 2005, the U.S. and Israel decided to discontinue developing the Thel after the project budget had surpassed $300 million. The decision came as a result of its bulkiness, high cost, and poor anticipated results on the battlefield. Atom. Lockheed Martin's Area Defense Anti-Munitions system is a prototype laser weapon system that is designed to defeat close-in improvised rocket and unmanned aerial system and small boat threats. It uses a 10-kilowatt fiber laser to attack its targets. 
Providing short-range defense of high-value areas including forward operating bases, the Atom system is designed to track targets at a range of more than 3 miles and destroy targets at a range of up to 1.5 miles. For rocket threats, the Atom system detects the threat and within seconds locks on the target and establishes an aim point. When the Atom system declares a valid aim point, it fires the laser on the target long enough to negate the rocket or UAS or small boat. Rheinmetall Hell The Rheinmetall High Energy Laser Gun is a 30 kilowatt laser weapon technology demonstrator in a modular concept. A major advantage of Hell effectors is their outstanding flexibility with regards to escalation and de escalation. Their output power of the high energy laser gun is eminently scalable. When fired at optics for aircraft, UAVs, weapons or energy sources, for example, the Hell Effector is able to neutralize entire weapon systems without destroying them. With its Air Defense Hell Effector, Rheinmetall demonstrated the performance of Hell in air defense scenarios. In around 4 seconds, the 30 kilowatt laser weapon technology demonstrator destroyed five 82mm mortar shells from a distance of 3,280 feet. The highlight of the demonstration in Oxenboden came with the successful shooting down of several jet-powered UAVs. Athena Lockheed Martin's Advanced Test High Energy Asset System, also known as Athena, is a prototype laser weapon system that is designed to defeat close-in, low-value threats such as improvised rockets, unmanned aerial systems, vehicles, and small boats. The Athena is a transportable ground-based system that serves as a low-cost testbed for demonstrating technologies required for military use of laser weapon systems. It uses Lockheed Martin's 30-kilowatt Accelerated Laser Demonstration Initiative Aladdin, Spectral Beam Combining Fiber Laser, in which multiple fiber laser modules form a single, powerful, high-quality beam, providing great efficiency and lethality in a design that scales to higher power levels. Athena is an upgrade to the Area Defense Anti-Munitions system, which used a commercially available 10-kilowatt laser. Laws The Laser Weapon System, or LAWS, is a laser weapon developed by the United States Navy. The weapon was installed on USS Ponce for field testing in 2014. In December 2014, the United States Navy reported that the LAWS system worked perfectly against low-end asymmetric threats and that the commander of Ponce was authorized to use the system as a defensive weapon. The LAWS uses an infrared beam from a solid-state laser array, which can be tuned to high output to destroy a target or low output to warn or cripple the sensors of a target. One of its advantages over projectile weapons is the low cost per shot. Each firing of the weapon requires only the minimal cost of generating the energetic pulse. By lasing a vital point, Laws can shoot down a small UAV in as little as 2 seconds. Raytheon Hell Raytheon Intelligence and Space's high-energy laser system uses photons or particles of light to carry out military missions and civil defense. This directed energy technology enables detection of threats, tracking during maneuvers, and positive visual identification to defeat a wide range of threats, including unmanned aerial systems, rockets, artillery, and mortars. The HELL High Energy Laser Weapon Systems work on land, in the air, and at sea, providing 360-degree coverage that protects bases, airports, stadiums, and other high-value military or civilian targets. The system's open architecture easily adapts to the demands of the mission, while our ruggedized packaging means it can be used as a standalone system or rapidly installed on a variety of military platforms. The laser has successfully completed full installation and testing on small army vehicles as well as an Apache attack helicopter.
Perezved. The Perezved is a Russian laser weapon. Most of the information about the complex remains secret. However, according to experts, it is supposed to perform the task of air defense and missile defense. The Perezved laser complexes have been on the combat duty since the beginning of December 2019. The complexes have been deployed with the Road Mobile ICBM launchers with the task of covering their maneuvers. The Perezved combat laser can be successfully used against unmanned aerial vehicles. At this time, its effectiveness directly depends on environmental conditions. In good weather, it works perfectly, but fog, rain, snow, and other adverse weather events can interfere with the passage of the laser beam. In the future, they will be able to protect military bases and other locations from penetrations of UAVs into their territory. That's all, friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the lasers you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.